Hi everyone, uh, I'm Ed with Double GDP. I just wanted to share a uh, latest design update. Uh, so today I'm gonna go over a new login for guards, uh, manual log flow, uh, uh, and two other variation that I explored. Um, so three variations of manual log, or in this case, I don't think we're calling it manual log anymore. The original idea was manual log, and then uh, we went back to requesting access. Um, and then, uh, you know, uh, completion to show basically um, uh, completion and error states uh, to make those obvious for the guards. Uh, and then most importantly, the Paniso or admin review flow. Uh, because this was really important to create pull through Paniso. Uh, and uh, Paniso, we determined that Paniso is our most important user and primary user in this case. Um, so I put a little bit more thinking around a flow to create pull uh, for Paniso. Okay, so um, lugging, nothing super drastic there just some visual design and hierarchy uh not much of it but mostly the same uh i've changed uh the color for better accessibility based on the feedback that i got from nolan and jay they, uh, on their visit uh made the buttons bigger so now they're 50 pixels um i believe 52 to be exact uh, which is actually more than the, um, larger than the recommended uh, 40 pixels, uh, but I think uh, still reasonable enough to where it doesn't, it doesn't look, um, it doesn't look, you know, too, too crazy. Uh, and then, uh, you know, I have a version one and a, a version one and a version two, uh, you know, stack button, uh, side by side button, so. All right, now uh, manual log flow. So this was based on the discussion with Nolan and um, uh, on that discussion, he believed that, hey, it's really important to have a way that's basically similar to what Nkwashi is using today, but within the app so that we could get them to use the app to log entries and to stop using their log book uh, as they do today. So I, uh, I change the button to manual log um, and have a field with the same exact items except for reason for visit. Of, you know, it says in the in the in Kwashi logbook it says business. Uh, I didn't think that business really made that much sense, so I just put reason for visit. But I'm happy to change it uh, if need be to back to to business. Uh, but anyway, so you you type. You tap this manual log, it opens the form, you fill out the form, you sign it as it looks here. And then one of the items um, that no one wanted me to uh, capture here, to, to make sure to capture here was uh, the ability for the guards to, to flag any concern that they may have. So uh, in this case, I've just, you know, done it the way that um, you know Nolan was explaining it the best way that I could uh, and then I you know I'm just sharing this for the sake of the update but we've, act we've actually decided that this didn't work you know for for reasons like you know this is something that users would likely be filling out themselves the guard would hand out the phone for the user to uh, at least to sign it even if the guard fill it out uh, themselves then they would hand it to the user to sign it and to flag a concern right there, uh, just you know, I, I don't, I don't think uh, worked well, and no one agreed. Um, so we moved on to manual log flow two, uh, which I don't think should be called manual log flow anymore because at this point, uh, Paniso gave us the feedback that hey, I do the whole point of this is that I can actually check the request and make sure that they're not just adding people that I don't know. So Paniso want to be able to be the, one, the only one 
actually granting any access and that the guard doesn't have the ability to just register a new person and let them in, right? So at that point, does the flagging even means much? I'm not sure, but I still actually uh, captured that here in a, in a slightly different way. Um, so you would hit uh, request access, you'll open this form, you, you put the same information. I do think the picture is important and maybe something that, you know, we could consider adding uh, down the line, but I've, I've, I've kept it the same. Again, just the uh, reason for visit uh, instead of business, um, the copywriting there. Um, um, just uh, small details, like if you tap the field, what it looks like, so it highlights that line there, and then you get the, the keyboard is triggered and you can enter the information. So once the form is filled completely, this is what it looks like, it's signed. Uh, so now the guard hit request. And at this point to capture for the flagging, uh, this was the idea, uh, it would show this modal uh, that's, you know, let's say note any, anything suspicious and the guard has the ability to add notes here if they wanted to, or just say, yes, I do or none. And then it will be, it will be captured there. Again, if, if this is actually a request flow and the guard doesn't have the ability to just add them and it's not a log anymore, then uh, I'm not sure that this is needed. Um, and then at this point, once they request the access being that, you know, Paniso has to review it, obviously, um, one of the, one of the discussion, uh, or the last thing that uh, we discussed with Nolan is that uh, he he encouraged to have just a request approval pending. Uh, but the discussion was that the discussion with Nolan and the rest of the team, uh, including Mark, I believe, uh, was that it will be the guard would have to wait, right? And we're we're not too sure. Uh, today from an engineering standpoint that it's even possible to, uh, to, to have the notifications in this case, uh, being that it's all web-based. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not too sure uh, what's possible and what's doable at this point, but I just honestly don't think that um, for the guard to stay here and to have to wait for Paniso to approve uh, would work. Because um, what, what happens if there is two or three people waiting and each request have to be kind of stuck on the screen? So I, I still mock the screen because we had the discussion and this was one of the items requested, but I wanted to uh, attempt something else. So I think technologically it should be, we should be able to once the request is sent to Paniso is sent, right? Uh, and Paniso could either grant the request or deny the request. So my thinking was, hey, we could still have this that says pending and maybe have a button that says continue on top of the one that says call Paniso. And then from there, it will take you to this screen, which will be this, um, I'm introducing a mini card this just gives the name of um, the applicant and then the status just pending request. Later on, when we add pictures, you know, we can have the picture there, the name pending request. And so the guard, when they see this, they can just call Paniso. And I haven't mo mocked uh, what it looks like when Paniso grants that request, but um, what it could be very easy, just the same name and say uh, request uh, uh, approved or request deny, have an icon, you know, green icon to help um, the guard really see that and make that very clear uh, when it's approved or a red icon when it's not approved. And then uh, if it's not approved, you could still say call Paniso. Um, if it's approved, it could just say done. Um, and then once they hit done, we just dismiss this, this box. But what happens when uh, the user want to request several access, right? 
uh, I mean, in this case, when I say the user, I mean the guard, right? They, they, let's say they want to request several access. So what happens if there is many accesses? Um, this is what I was thinking. Instead of stacking them to the point where it's going to make the scroll really crazy, which we could, we could still do, uh, but what if you, you request access for eight people and now you have eight of these cards like, you know, stacked on, on top of one another. So for a short term, I don't think it's going to be any more than, than 10 cards, for instance. But for the short term, this is what I was thinking. Uh, so that the guards could also deal with those. Once those requests are approved or denied, they could, you know, dismiss them. But I was thinking of something like this, where they could just swipe through. Um, but again, we're doing a, a web version right now, and I, I don't believe this would necessarily work. Uh, on web, on web it would be a carousel maybe instead. Uh, but yeah, this was my my thinking for an ideal state. Uh, probably something we could implement down the line. But for now, if we if we have to be using the the, the pending and just have them wait here, then uh, this is what the screen would look like. And maybe they can call Paniso to accelerate the approval. Uh, but yeah, once it's approved. You know, Ahmed was logged or Ahmed was approved in this case. Uh, and then they can hit OK and go back to the home page. Um, and then uh, the third option. Um, so don't don't mind this because um, when I marked this, it was for it, it was only for the entry. And at that point, it wasn't. Um, it wasn't a, a considered uh, request that Paniso needed to approve. But anyway, uh, mostly I wanna share the form, um, being that something much simpler, um, it, it seems like it's much, many more screens, but um, in this case, it's just asking one thing at a time. Uh, so it's a little bit more focused. So you enter your name, you enter ID, you enter your phone number, you enter you know, all of these items and then you, you'll sign it. This is what it looks like when it's not signed. Um, and then this looks like when it's signed. So that button is sort of disabled. And once it's signed, the button is, is activated and now you can log the entry. Um, and in this case, signature will be, will be a requirement. Um, and then once you log the entry, again, um, this is the same proposal for capturing any suspicion. But again, if we go with the request, uh, I, don't, I don't know if it would still apply. Um, oh, and then this was a, another alternative to this. Uh, in this case, a business, instead of a, a free form, uh, it could be just a set of options uh, to pick from for the sake of speed. Efficiency. Um, okay, so oh, there's one one thing I forgot to show here is uh, the drop down for request. Being that it's a drop down, so I'm just showing the different items what it could be, and then if you hit other, then it turns into a free form so you could actually enter the information and say okay so <clears throat> now last but not least uh paniso and or admin review so the requests are, are here this is the admin home screen so it has a uh, different items i'm not sure scanner is needed there but it will show request at least here uh and then so Oh no, sorry. So in request, this is where you where you get. So I've changed the design for what it looks like for pending request with uh, less information uh, because we're we're asking for less information in the form. Um, and then here you could just hit review. Review would give Paniso this form where there is the date and time, uh, which is automatically generated because um, we don't need the user to to mention that themselves, uh, we could just automatically capture a date and time. So date and time, which can be changed, and then name, 
ID, phone number, plate number, uh, reason for visit, and then signature. And Paniso could grant that or deny that. Um, oh, and here, this is what a uh, text message could look like, you know. Um, Hi, Paniso, you have a new access request, right? With the link and they could hit that link and then it will send them to, to this page. So they could either grant it right away. If he, he went back, you could see all the different requests here. Uh, yeah, that's uh, I think that's about it. Oh, uh, wait, another item that was an exploration, not something that was requested or asked, but um, I just thought notification would be something interesting. Uh, Paniso being our primary user uh, in this case, uh, one of the major goals was to capture as much pool as possible uh, with Paniso. Uh, so I thought it was worth uh, exploring uh, notifications, which I believe should be um, a feature for us to think of, to think about in the next couple of sprints. Uh, so basically Paniso would just get live notification of everything that's happening, right? Anyone exit, anyone. Uh, enters the property, um, anyone send a request, this is what it looks like. Oops. Sorry, I realized some of those items are not quite up to date. So once there is an entry, what I'm thinking is either, I should say maybe something like view log. It's a placeholder, but you know, somewhere where they could see, where Paniso could just hit this shortcut and get through the list where he's seeing all the logs. But anything that's happening, I think at that point, he doesn't even need to see the logs, right? Like this could be basically uh, where he gets all the notifications, which are beyond just exiting. When someone has a new request, it's here. Maybe. Anything that happens through the app um, uh, or in the community uh, could be notified here for Paniso. Uh, yes, yeah, sorry, I'm getting technical difficulties there, but yeah, you get you get the gist of it. Uh, cool. So that's, that's uh, all I have. Uh, one last quick items is just uh, making very evident uh, when an action is completed, it either fails or it succeeds. So making success very obvious to the guards and making failure very obvious and have a way to redirect it when it's when it fails, uh, when something goes wrong, uh, there is a clear action there to be taken. And when something is successful, you just acknowledge it and move on. Or maybe it could be something without a call to action. It may show there for three seconds, four seconds, and just go away on its own. Um, okay, so that's, that's my thinking, and that's the latest design update. Thank you.